Greetings, ladies and gents, one and all, humble members of the TSC family. My very name is the Shadow Cookie, and I welcome you all back to Let's Play The Witch's House. Yes, indeed. Episode number four. It is the place that nobody ever leaves alive in one piece. When we last left off, our very protagonist here, young, 13 year old innocent Viola had just stumbled upon an incredibly inviting choice. She can either A. Drink deliciously green poison that'll no doubt kill her on the spot, or B. Lend the invisible cook of the building a hand, whose true name I am convinced is Mr. Literal. So yeah, this situation is quite, quite awkward, because both of them decisions, no matter which one I'll decide to go through with, will result in my inevitable death. Why inevitable? Because I will die again. It is pretty much already set in stone. Within the witch's house, nobody stays alive. It's just the rule, the law, if you will. Getting back on track though, <clears throat> decisions, decisions, which one should it be? Perhaps there's a third choice I am not yet seeing, a secret one that'll avoid certain doom. Hmm, what can I work with here? Oh, Neko-chan, I wish your wisdom could affect me. <laughs> Who am I kidding? Your wisdom is non-existent. You know so much, but at the same time refuse to share anything. Blasted feline. Just you wait. One day I'm gonna freaking own this place. And I'm gonna own you. As well, gonna make a lovely fur coat. Nah, no, just kidding. I highly disapprove of that. Oh my gosh, going insane again. But what else are you supposed to do within the witch's house? Cause there is no sanity in here, none at all. Oh, try to calm down. Hmm. The soup or the cook? If I drink the soup, I'll die. If I help out the cook, I'll probably die. <laughs> so, which one? Ah, I can't decide, I just, I just can't. I, I, I just said something. I said something that was supposed to steer me into the right direction, but what was it? Ah, yes, of course. Try to think about this dilemma. What can I work with? Well, there is that one book within the kitchen talking about aristocrats and how you can change the color of silverware by dropping silver objects into poison. Well, I got poison right here, but no silver, so that won't help the situation. Hmm. The cook, if I help him, <laughs> if I help him, the scripted event will unfold itself, and I won't be able to do anything about it. Uh, any items inside my inventory? Can they help me? A letter? Most likely not. Teddy bear limbs? <laughs> they are flashy, they'd make a delightful ingredient for his very, um, whatever he is trying to prepare, considering that there's only an empty board. N or A? There's only an empty board or A empty board? I have no idea, and quite frankly, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Gonna stuff that into the soup. Actually, that might work out, I wonder. Perhaps if I add the teddy bear limbs, the soup will become a little bit more delicious <laughs> and less poisonous, wishful thinking. It doesn't work. Of course, who'd have thought? Huh. The cockroaches are back. That is a surprise. Oh, my sweet, sweet friends. I am so happy that you decided to come back. Decided to accompany me once more. Oh. And I am also unable to squish them. Ah! <coughs> Never mind. Oh gosh, I don't know what to do. I, I, I want to do something. But something that avoids losing my precious dear life. Someone invisible. Talk. Ah, I'm busy. So busy. We all know, good sir. We know. 
<laughs> but I don't want to lamp tail shop because <laughs> ah, so, I'm sorry. I am so sorry, cockroach. This is ridiculous. Perhaps drinking the soup is my only solution. The only solution that'll get me out of this mess. <laughs> really? A grim solution for sure, but it's it's better than getting slaughtered by gigantic teddy bear monstrosities, am I correct? <laughs> oh, the possibilities within the witch's house, they are endless. I am gonna drink this now. I am gonna drink the poison all by myself. Nobody is forcing me to. This is happening due to free will. Oh, God. I am sorry, Viola. Exclamation mark. Exactly how I would react. Um. Da -da, a music just disappear. Once more. That can't mean anything good. <laughs> Thanks, Captain Obvious. Viola was poisoned. Oh, really? Oh. Heard an unlocking sound somewhere. Are you kidding? Something unlocked because I decided to drink poison? What sense does that make? This house. I swear to the Lord, it makes up its rules on the freaking spot. Second after second, new rules everywhere. Um, something unlocked, that's, that's quite beautiful, but I am feeling not all that healthy anymore. Oh. Screen is flashing red, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, an antidote, an antidote, I need something, an antidote, a serum, just please, anything, somebody cast Kyuraga. Ah! I'm gonna die, correct? Did my eyes just disappear or something? I'm most certainly gonna die. Yes, the eyes are gone. Oh, my HP! They are dwindling! <laughs> the HP, they actually do play a role within this adventure. Only two left. Yeah, this, this, this fate has been sealed. Just gonna throw up all of my insights into this bowl. Add insult to injury. <laughs> gonna drink some more. No, that's not gonna happen. Ow. And thus she slumped over. Game over. Over, over, over. Everything is just over. <sighs> well, <laughs> that didn't work out. Not at all. Drinking the poison will unlock something. But just drinking it is not the proper answer. Hmm. What can I do? Wine bottles are lined up on the shelf. I'd like to drink some wine. I mean, I am underage, but still, wine uh, sounds tastier. It definitely sounds tastier than green puke. I mean, poison, uh, just the same. This chimney wouldn't reward me. Um, Mr. Cook, I do believe I have changed my mind. The poison I thought that might be the way out, but no. Turns out it just killed me on the spot, not necessarily, but you get the idea. It killed me either way. So, could I lend you a hand after all? I mean, we are all out of options here. Ah, I am busy. So busy. Lend a hand. Yeah, I didn't think this through. Oh, thank you. <laughs> That's not all though, is it? Whenever the music disappears, it pretty much translates to you fucked up. And now you'll be punished. The invisible person grabs your arm. Just try to think about this for a second. Viola here is 13 years old. Just a young child. 
just keep that in mind for a few seconds. Oh. They push your wrist onto the cutting board. Oh, please just fade to game over, I beg of you. <coughs> oh. A hand is exactly what I needed. <laughs> this house, it never ceases to amaze. It never ceases to find new methods to take my existence from this world. Everybody close your eyes and ears. This won't be pretty. <coughs> ah. And thus, he took it. He took it and probably left me on the ground to bleed out. Son of a... Ugh. Well, if that's not a solution either... Then what am I meant to do? Seriously, what am I meant to do? Come on now, Mr. TSC, are you really that stupid? There's gotta be an answer. I am just not seeing it. And why did I prolong the see I, 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 I don't know. Because the structure plays tricks on your mind. This note says, taste the poison. I obviously need to drink it, but how do I prevent myself from just falling onto the carpet? Coughing and freaking puking everywhere. <laughs> Poison. <laughs> it's not tasty at all. Actually, I do believe I just figured something out. Maybe. It's only an assumption, but... Sir Cook, you want me to lend a hand, is that so? <laughs> well, I do love them hands, so much in fact that I carry around a spear with me. They are not exactly as fleshy as the original, but still fleshy inside. Mind if I lend those to you? Yeah. I will try to offer him the teddy bear limbs, because why the hell not? It's perfectly normal. Oh my god, this is actually a possibility. You can give him the bear limbs. Very well then, I won't miss him. I, I, I just want to throw everything away. All the freaking sins of the past. These hands, these limbs, the... Uh, yeah, they are proof to the murder I myself committed not too long ago. Just freaking cut them apart into your stew. Oh. Thank you. I was in need of a hand or two. Glad to be of assistance. Let me... Oh no. Let me show my appreciation. You can keep that appreciation to yourself, good sir. I don't want it. Uh, well, the music is still there, so maybe I'll be allowed to move on. Ooh. Got a silver key. Not just a key, but a silver one. I see. Now everything is starting to make sense. The chain reaction is about to begin. Anything else? Ah, so busy. Well, he's pleased. And if he's pleased, that means I feel pleased as well. Mm hmm. So what's next? Just dump the key into the poison? Wait a second. Maybe I can try to use the key on something? The cook gave me a silver key. How kind. A beautifully sparkling one. There was that one door inside the kitchen, was it not? Definitely. Can I open this up? Ah, it's locked. It won't stay locked for long, ha <laughs> ha! Use key. Ah, the key doesn't fit. Ah! Ah, 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 ah. I hate box, get away from me! The key doesn't fit at all is what I wanted to say before it freaking hailed down creatures onto my head. Ah. I really don't like them. <clears throat> Not at all. Very well then. 
Looks like we've got no other choice here. Nope, the choices have already been made. We just need to follow through. I'm gonna dump this key into the bowl, the skull. But what is that gonna yield? I mean, the book talked about how doing this kind of thing makes silver items more useful. More useful in what kind of way? Hit bowl with key. Put key in soup. <laughs> Knowing this freaking house hitting the bowl will probably call down the guests, and they will decide to dine on human flesh. Sure. It makes a pleasing sound. Hm. Is that all? Alrighty then, just throw it in there. For good measure. Dot 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 exclamation mark for the second time. However, this time I didn't drink it. The key turned black in the soup. Oh my. I can only imagine what this delightful mixture did to my insights. Oh, hear an unlocking sound. Seriously, this is all you had to do? Couldn't you have just thrown anything into the bowl then? Why did it need to be a silver item? What the? Did that chimney just change? It's... Uh, I, I don't know how to describe it, but something happened with that chimney. Hmm, what about the key? Just gonna leave it there? Well, alright, it is black. So... What about this chimney? A fireplace. And I can no longer peek inside with my eyes. I am starting to once again not like this situation. Something is happening all around me. Just waiting for an opportunity to strike. So, did that door unlock within the kitchen? Hopefully. <coughs> oh, uh. Boy, am I glad that I didn't decide to walk directly beneath the shelf. Cause if that would have been the case... Ugh. Ah! I walked into the glass shorts. Well, it makes a creepy sound. I don't like it. Get me away from this dining room. It is way too calm in here. Um, hello, Mr. Invisible Cook, are you still there? He is gone. And only the cutting board remains covered with scratches. Oh, stay away from me, wherever you are. Was this red book here before? I don't think so, it looked different. No. It's still dining of aristocrats. Uh, maybe it was just open before, now it is closed. Yeah, that would make sense. Uh, uh, stop it, all of you. Did this door unlock? The door opened. Oh, this is, this is perfect, because I hate this floor. This first floor is a terrible one. I got crushed. I got bounced on, well to be more specific, I got stomped on, yes indeed, I got poisoned, I got cut apart, etc, etc. I'm just gonna leave it behind myself, never gonna think about its existence again. Huh. A stairway. Looks like we are ascending, ladies and gentlemen. That's it. The first floor, the ground floor, of the witch's house, done. It is only gonna get better, am I right? <laughs> Hello there. Person with long purple hair. Who could you be? There is another person within this house. Well, <laughs> obviously, but... Oh, Jesus Christ, could that have been the witch? The evil witch. Get away from me. I am just innocent Viola. Looking for my friend Ellen. I want nothing to do with you. Oh, following her. It's a bloody death sentence here. Within the devil's private holiday resort. 
but I've got <laughs> something just moved past those windows outside. It's dark out as far as the eye can see. Really? Does that mean that it is night time by now? Have I been in here for that long? How does time even work within the witch's house? Have we entered an alternate dimension or something? Or does time pass much faster? Oh, I... I just don't know. I know nothing. I only know that I want to escape. But extending is the only option. Alright then, follow the witch. I'm just gonna assume that it was the witch. I mean, who else would it be? Yeah. Oh god. This music. It sounds evil and dangerous and creepy. No! No, 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 no. I saw a long corridor. I saw spider webs. Oh god, spider webs. <laughs> this is this is this is not a good idea. I've got a very bad feeling about this. Uh, but the audience is waiting. I don't want you guys and girls to fall asleep. I must proceed. Uh, uh, uh. Just gonna carefully once again inch my way along here. Ah! It's a suit of armor. A knight. That suit is gonna start moving all by itself very soon, let me tell you all that much. <laughs> I shall take my chances with this room. No, actually. Before that, may I save my game? Please, Neko-chan? Uh, Neko-chan, Neko-chan, Neko-chan. Ah! No! Neko-chan. Where are you? Bloody cat, I need you. You're my only freaking ally. I swear to God. Gone. Just gone. I can't even save my game. Where is he? Or she? Whatever kind of gender it is supposed to be. Neko-chan. Oh, that's gonna be my name for the second floor. The search for Neko-chan. Where are you? Hello? Cobwebs hang on the ceiling. They could be spiderwebs as well. And I hate spiders. Neko-chan! A decorative cat ornament? What? A cat ornament? Where? You you checked out this floor all by yourself before I had a chance to arrive? How? Why? Gotcha. Um, yes, you certainly got me. I wasn't expecting to find you here, but... A decorative cat ornament? What are you talking about? Is this something I am not catching? Some kind of joke or reference or figure of speak? Uh, just save my game. Thank you. Oh, that music. Something is coming. Something is waiting to happen. Oh yeah, this looks safe. A strange basement-like area covered in fog. No. No. No, 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 no. Anything could happen. Anything could freaking happen. There's a butterfly trapped in a spider's web. Hello? Another note on the wall. The spider has poor eyes. He can't even tell colors apart. The spider. I have a natural born fear of spiders. 
How big is this spider we are talking about here? Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh god, spiders, not spiders. I am literally closing one of my eyes right now. A dusty bookshelf full of cobwebs. Nothing of note here. Not yet. A barrel, nothing inside. Should I check every single barrel? Nothing inside this one either. What about the butterfly? Hello? Oh, don't examine it. But I wish to free it. <laughs> A butterfly is caught in the web. Yes, it certainly is. Take it? Uh, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna free the poor thing. Got a butterfly. A huge spider web. Uh, this is not good. A twitching butterfly, weak but still alive. Oh, thank God. Let's get the hell out of here. Please, 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 please don't do anything to me. Oh, oh God. <laughs> You've done it again. The witch is ours. You've done it again. I kind of know what to expect, but at the same time I don't know what to expect. <laughs> I am gonna be a man, I am not gonna cover my eyes. I shall simply enjoy my surprise. <gasps> <laughs> bit my head off. It descended so quietly and suddenly the head of poor innocent 13 year old Viola was gone leaving only behind a hole or just leaving behind a bloody hole I could see part of her spinal cord for just a split second. Ladies and gentlemen, one and all, my very name has been the Shadow Cookie, and when we'll return with Let's Play The Witch's House, more of this madness. Did I say that already? Oh, I am so sorry, but what the hell else am I supposed to say? More of this insanity, more of everything. Good lord, the darkness that is growing, ever growing. I hope that you enjoyed this one. <laughs> oh, the deaths. The deaths are starting to pile up. I'll need a bigger shovel to forget about it all. <clears throat> Uh, is there anything else I need to say? Ah, yes, of course. If you enjoyed the episode, please do leave me a like or perhaps even subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Don't forget, though, it is only a suggestion, not obligation. Until next time, your very host, the Shadow Cookie, signing out for now. Have a good day. I am, I am sorry. What I am saying sounds not all that professional, but the spider just completely threw me off. Ugh. What the heck is that? What the heck is that? Not talking about the game right now. There's a large moth sitting within one of the corners of my room. Yeah. Beautiful. Summer tends to do that kind of thing. It invites visitors. Until next time. Jesus Christ.